In October 2007, Peggy Whitson became the first female commander of the International Space Station. During her six-month command, the Iowa native oversaw the first expansion in more than six years of the station's living and working space. Over the course of our six-month mission, we had uh, two progresses depart, two progresses arrive, one ATV, which is the European uh, Automated Transfer Vehicle, another uh, uh, resupply vehicle, in essence, uh, arrive. And then three shuttles uh, arrived and departed, uh, and then an, a Soyuz. Uh, one Soyuz departed when we, after we arrived, and another one arrived just before we left. So we had a pretty busy traffic flow during Expedition 16. It was, uh, it was great. Kept us hopping. <laughs> I liked it that way. Armed with a doctorate in biochemistry, Whitson came to NASA as a research biochemist in 1989 and moved on to become the project scientist of the shuttle Mir program in 1995. She began her astronaut training in 1996 and took her first flight on STS-111 to the ISS to become an Expedition 5 crew member. Whitson's second tour of duty on Expedition 16 catapulted her into the history books. Besides becoming the first woman commander of the ISS, she also set records in these categories. Most days in space for a U.S. astronaut, 377, 20th among all space veterans, and more hours spacewalking, 39 hours and 46 minutes, than any other woman.